Welcome to the shop, everybody. Today, we're gonna to begin the install of our Mr. Cool Mini Split Air Conditioning Systems here. I have four of the three-ton Mini Split Systems that we're gonna be installing in my shop right here. These are designed to be a complete do-it-yourself installation that anybody can handle on your own. If you've got a workshop, if you've got a garage, any kind of workshop for that matter, whether it be wood, metal working, uh, hobby, anything for that matter that you need some air conditioning, this is a great system to go with. They offer these in several different sizes. I believe they have uh, one, one and a half ton, two and three ton, mine being the three ton units right here. So we're gonna have 12 tons of air conditioning for my shop right here, all right? So I wanna uh, first begin by going over all of the components that come with this system. We'll get you in there so you can kind of see all the parts and pieces that we have. And also, you know, how they come shipped uh, to you whenever they arrive, all right? So let's jump right in there and get started on this. And uh, I will also go over where we're gonna be installing these in the shop right here. So as I said, we have four of these systems that we're gonna be installing in here. I felt that four of them would be perfectly adequate for my size shop. I have a 2,500 square foot building right here with high ceilings, and I wanted to make sure that we had enough cooling in here to uh, handle the uh, heat. As many of you are probably aware, I'm in Florida, it gets extremely hot and, and humid he here in the summertime. And not only that, this is a heat pump system as well. So whenever it does get cool here, we get, we get cool here in Florida every now and then where I'm at. It's nice to have a heat pump there to keep the shop comfortable whenever we're getting down into those 20s and 30s here, uh, those few days out of the year whenever it does that. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the components that come. So you have, this is the air handler here that will be mounted on the wall. This is what's gonna you know, be blowing the cool air out into your shop. And this is gonna be the condenser unit that is gonna be sitting outside on the outside of the wall there. This is all the parts that come. So you have the uh, installation manual right there. You have a quick start setup. These units come with a, um, a thermostat. You have a, a USB AC controller there. You have a remote control. And then you have some more parts that kind of go with the install there, all right? You also have the copper lines here that have the, uh, the foam insulation around it. So this, this is what you'll use. You'll have to uncoil this, and you have one end that's gonna be connected to the air handler, and the other end is gonna be connected to the condenser here. And the way that they design these is that these condensers come pre-charged with the coolant that you need. So you do not have to have an AC technician to install this and pull a vacuum on the system. It's designed so that you can install it yourself. All right, now what I wanted to mention on top of that is that the one thing that you will need help with if you're, if you're not capable is to, you gotta run an electrical circuit dedicated to the system no matter what size you have. This particular AC system uh, runs off of uh, 220 volt uh, single phase and it runs off of a 30 amp system so you got to have a 30 amp breaker or a 30 amp disconnect for each one of these units uh, in my case i've got four i've got a sub panel that i had my electricians install on the back side of the wall we'll go around there and i'll show you that that's the panel that we're going to be running all four of these units into so um, if you need some help with that call your electrician have them come out and pre-wire a uh, circuit for your system and they can help you get that installed all right but all the rest of this you can handle perf you're perfectly capable of installing this stuff yourself the kit does include one of these line guard systems right here so this is a what these are these are some plastic guards that you will use and it comes with the other pieces there you've got a 90 you've got a, a cover where it comes through so what we're going to be doing is using this system right here and for the copper lines. So we're gonna be having two of our air, air handlers mounted on this wall. So you'll have the uh, copper lines running down the wall. We're gonna penetrate through the back wall there, out and then down to the condenser. So this line guard system actually is like a nice attractive cover that you can put over the copper line so that you have that one nice pretty piece of uh, plastic guarding going all the way down. And then you can also use it on the exterior to go down and cover the lines to where the condenser is gonna be sitting outside. All right, I did wanna point out that they, they come on a pallet and they have this shrink wrapped and banded down so they, they arrive safely without any damage. 
They're very well packaged. You can see all the foam in here, and I've, I've already removed the top of that, but they come uh, nicely packaged so that there's not gonna be any damage along the way. And they also delivered it with a uh, drop gate uh, system for the truck. So the truck driver was able to use a pallet jack, lower it down to the uh, street, and roll it right up into the shop, nice and easy. So we're gonna be installing four of these, as I mentioned. So we're gonna have one of our air handlers mounted right in this area. That's what that piece of tape is indicating. We're gonna have an air handler there, and we're also gonna have another air handler about in this area centered where this piece of tape is there. All right, and we're also gonna have two of them kind of equally spaced along this wall right there. So we'll have one probably right about even with this expansion crack right about there. And the same for the one up here in this area. We'll probably have it right about where this expansion joint is and uh, mounted up there. They're gonna be uh, somewhere between eight and 10 foot up. Probably, uh, I would say maybe a little above eight foot up there on the wall, okay? So the ones on, the, on these back walls right here, what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna mount some uni strut which is this stuff right here where the electrical panel is. So we're gonna have this uni strut, we'll have it cut, and we'll have us a frame bolted just like that. Uh, one there and one there. And what I would like to do, I'm gonna go grab a piece of plywood. I'm gonna have it cut, and we're actually gonna mount the air handler. We'll have the uni strut up here. We're gonna bolt a piece of plywood to that, and then the air handler will be mounted to the plywood. I'm gonna get a piece of three quarter inch plywood for that and we will paint the plywood white to match the uh, insulation there as well. And then for the units along this wall here, they will be mounted directly flush onto that wall. There's metal studs in there, so we'll actually find the studs and uh, penetrate through that and uh, have some self-tapping screws that will hold the air handlers along this wall right here. These are the pads that I picked up yesterday from our local uh, air conditioning supply house. I used Hinkle. A lot of them keep these guys in stock. They're not very expensive at all either. But uh, these are the pads that the condensers are going to be sitting on out back behind the shop. So we'll have to get around there. I need to uh, get the ground nice and level, make sure the pad is level, and we'll set the condensers right on top of that. And uh, they're not they're not solid concrete. They're actually, they have foam on the inside of that, and they use uh, fiberglass to reinforce it. But I can pick it up right there with one hand and show you they're not they're not that heavy so um, so that's the pads let's go around back I'll show you the circuit that I had the electricians install so this is the sub panel that I have my electrician installed this is what's going to feed all four units and we're going to have our units we're going to have three of our condensers sitting right in this general area right here and then we're going to have one kind of by itself right about where that x is over there so our uh, pads are going to sit right back here but I'm not gonna place them in, until we know exactly where the condensers are gonna go. Because we're gonna be uh, coming through this wall right there with three of our copper lines and come down and then hook into our condensers there. So, but this is the panel that we have. So we have four dedicated 30 amp breakers. So one, this, this will be our disconnect for our condensers that'll be sitting there on both sides and uh, we'll be feeding directly into this panel right there. So even though this system is designed to be a do-it-yourself installation, I have recruited the help of my stepdad, Fernando, once again. Fernando has always helped me around the shop with, when it comes to electrical issues and a previous Mr. Cool install at the other shop. Uh, Fernando is a lifelong uh, qualified and uh, certified air conditioning technician. So he has a license to do this stuff. He has the knowledge on this and he is gonna help me with this install. It's always nice having a helpful hand. Even if you're doing this yourself without the help of a uh, technician, it's nice to have somebody, somebody there to help you be able to move this stuff around and especially whenever you go to set the air handlers up on the wall, it helps to have two or three people there to hold things in place. So he's gonna come and help me with that. And I do wanna mention that one of these systems is gonna be modified out of the do-it-yourself category. And the only reason we're doing that is because this wall right here, we're gonna be having that one air handler right here. And the line that they supply is not gonna be quite long enough to reach from here all the way down the wall and down to the condenser. So Fernando is gonna be modifying one of these systems right here, the copper tubes. He is going to be lengthening 
uh, one set, one coil of this uh, copper tube for that air handler right there. And I wanted people to be aware of that, that he's gonna be modifying that. Uh, you do not have to do that to install these systems right there. You just have to make sure that your condenser and your air handler are gonna be within reach of the supplied length of uh, copper tubing that they supply with this system. All right, so saying that, we're ready to get started. I'm gonna go get the plywood now. Fernando's gonna be here later this morning. We're gonna jump on this install and uh, get it done. This is probably gonna be a uh, two-day project between us getting all this completed, and I'm gonna bring you along for the install and show you how it's done, all right? That's gonna be the general position of where both our pads and the uh, condensers are gonna be mounted at. Uh, these will be moved accordingly. I'm just kind of getting them in place. We still gotta level the ground and, and get the pads, but. It's going, to, it's going to determine where the lines come down and where we actually need to set. Fernando said that we'll, we'll set these in the position once we know where the lines are going to be coming out at, okay? So these are my two pieces of plywood that the air handler are going to uh, bolt to. These will get bolted to the uni strut up on the wall back there. So we just I went to Lowe's, had them cut them for me, and uh, I just put a coat of the kills kills too and then once that dries i'm going to put a coat of this uh, uh, semi-gloss ultra white on there as well now, i just want the wood to kind of match as closely to that white insulation back there as i can and not have the uh, wood look behind the air handler i'm getting the position on the wall here where i want both of the units so we've got a, a piece of black tape there and then we've got another one right here what i've done is decide to just split it on this wall this is a 50 foot long wall divide by three, and that puts it right at 16 and a half foot. So that's what we're gonna be coming in from each side, 16 and a half foot where our air handlers are gonna be. So I'm gonna get these guys staged, uh, ready to go on the wall. We're getting ready to open this box up. I'll show you what it looks like when you unbox these things. They come nicely packed. Got this foam in there that protects it during shipment. So whenever you get your unit, it should be safe and uh, not harmed in any way during the shipping. I think that was a cap off the uh, line there. Okay, so we've got our two pieces of three quarter plywood finished up. I got three coats of paint on there, so that should look good and should uh, match the insulation real well and I've been getting everything staged, uh, waiting on for Fernando. We've got the units kind of in the place where they're gonna be right here. There's the four condensers. I just left them on the pallet. That way it'd be easy to uh, use my dolly right here and I will uh, roll these guys uh, right on around the building to the back right here. Probably gonna do that tomorrow. There's the other air handler there all of our uh, line guards. And then we've got one more air handler right here with the copper lines. That's gonna go right here. So uh, I got my part done for today. I've been uh, cutting up all the cardboard boxes. You see, I got them stacked in the back of the truck, getting ready to take that to the uh, recycle bin, the cardboard anyway, and get that in there. I still got these boxes to cut up right here. They use that real thick stuff to ship it. So you gotta cut it up and uh, the way it'll sit flat in the uh, in the dumpsters. So that's where we're at right now. Unfortunately, Fernando got tied up on the uh, job he was trying to finish up. He hasn't quite made it today, but he said he's gonna be here first thing in the morning and we're gonna get started on, on the uh, install. We'll start with getting our uni strut on the wall, get the plywood up there, 
and start getting all of our air, air handlers mounted on the wall first. That'll be the first phase and then get the condensers to the back and start hooking everything up. So um, we'll be back first thing in the morning. All right, so it's the next day. We got Fernando here, his helper Billy, and we're gonna get started on the uh, install here. Um, I've still got Joe's lift, so I'm gonna use that. We're gonna get up here and start getting our uni strut mounted to the wall. And Fernando brought his uh, little genie lift here that, that we can use to put the uh, air handler on to be able to pick these guys up and get it mounted to the, uh, to the plywood. So we're gonna get started on this install right now. All right, we got our first uh, board up here. We got our uni strut bolted to the, uh, the two girders there. And then of course our plywood bolted to the uh, uni strut. So the air handler will mount right here. All right, so this is the, uh, this is the metal plate that the air handler sits on. You see, you got the, the, these guys right up there. It sits on that and then snaps into the bottom. So I just start with the middle and then get it level and then put four more around there. So we got five screws holding that on and uh, that is ready for the air handler now. There we go. I'm gonna double check it here. Make sure we're on our center. 53, we're good. All right, we're ready for the plywood now. All right, there we go. there's our five screws. All right, and then so one other thing that we're gonna have to do is uh, once we figure out the location, you do, we're gonna have to use a, a hole saw and drill a hole in the board there for the uh, copper lines to go through. So there we go, there's our second piece ready to go. All right, we got Fernando and Billy's up there uh, getting the other two wall brackets mounted now for the other two air handlers and doing good. That's the three and a half inch. And um, we went ahead and piloted it first with this quarter inch long drill all the way through the wall. That way we can go around out back. We'll already have a pilot hole to line up the hole drill for the sheet metal. All right. You want to tell me how I'm looking? It's looking, looking good right there. Pretty good right there? Yep. Am I against the installation? Now you are. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. There it is. We got our two uh, hole locations here. These are gonna be where two of our lines are gonna go through. We're gonna drill through here and here. These are the two sets of lines that are gonna be for the two air handlers along the wall right there. So put a pilot drill through there and then we'll go to the backside and drill the three and a half through the backside. Uh, after we do this, we'll put the insulation tape over this though to help protect the uh, insulation. There's our insulation. What I'm going to do is probably just, uh, I'm going to just cut it. I'm going to, I'm going to cut it and just try to move it back up out of the way. All right. There's our uh, three and a half inch hole through the wall. I just reach in here with a knife and uh, cut the insulation nice and clean. And then we'll have our flanges that'll come through here and hide all this real good. And it'll get sealed up. But you can see the plywood backing there where our air handler is going to go. All right. So we got that one. We got our two drilled down there. And we got one more left right over there. So these are the pipe that you go through the wall with and you just cut them the length.
And we're using the skill saw because this is the best thing we got on site right now to do that with. That's it. These are the flanges that you stick through the hole, the three and a half inch hole we just drilled. So you've got a flange that goes on one side, a flange that goes on the other. We're opting to put the smaller flange to the outside. It's got these uh, flat uh, cutouts there so that when we're up against one of those ribs in the sheet metal, it'll kind of help clear it. The other thing that we're doing, they supply uh, this stuff right here. This is a sealing clay and you just pinch off a piece and then you roll it. You roll it between your hands like this right here. You stick that on there and then once this goes through the hole, you push it up, that will seal it against that edge right there. So we're gonna stick the two together and it'll go like that. And we're gonna just reach inside there with some of our tape and actually tape the two pieces together to, to keep those two together. So we're gonna go and uh, get those in all four of our holes right now. This is what we're doing here. Go ahead and stick the, uh, stick the next one in here. And you just gotta push on it a little bit to uh, get the sealer to kind of flatten out against the flange there. So here's the other uh, side of the flanges from the inside, and then we've got our insulation tape. I just lined the inside of it with the insulation tape that actually holds both of the flanges together there. So we're to the point where we're ready to start hanging the uh, air handlers up on the wall. We got, we got all four places uh, ready to hang. We ran into an unexpected problem, and that is the lift here has quit working. It's in the electronics, something uh, to do with the controls right here. So Fernando is going to come back tomorrow and start checking this stuff out and seeing if he can figure out. He knows it's up in this control panel right here because it's been acting a little funny anyway. And then after we got it in place right here, it just quit working altogether. So that's very unfortunate. <clears throat> you know, we can't even move it out of the way to get to this spot. So uh, he's going to come back tomorrow and see if he can figure out uh, what's wrong with that. Maybe get it fixed. Try to get that fixed up for Joe because, you know, this is a borrowed lift and I don't want to give it back to Joe without it working correctly. So we're gonna to try to get this first and then we're gonna jump back on our install for the AC. I'm gonna begin working on installing two of the air handlers, the ones on the, on the back wall here. So we got that one and that one there. I'm gonna to try to get these guys up. So I wanted to quickly go through the steps for that. So obviously we've got our bracket mounted up there. We've got our hole drilled. So if you come to the back of the unit, you can see that we have our two copper lines. These will have to be just kind of uh, bent out right here so they can go through. You also have the drain line right here, okay? You also have this an additional drain line. So this will get hooked into this drain line here on the back side of the wall and then go down. And this is, of course, is your drain for condensation. You also have the power cord. This will get uh, pulled through the hole as well. So pretty simple. You just got to install the, uh, the cord, the drain, and the two copper lines through the hole there. And then we've got our three tabs up top that the unit will hang on. Once you hang it, it just snaps right into place. We're gonna be using Fernando's Genie Lift here to uh, lift the air handler up. I got it sitting on some padding and some cardboard there to kind of keep it from getting scratched up. And uh, hopefully we can lift that up there. I haven't tried lifting it that high, but I'm assuming it will go. And I wanted to point out that this is actually a tool that you can rent from your local tool dealer there as well if you need something like this for the day to help uh, pick this stuff up safely. So we'll uh, gonna go ahead and work on getting it picked up here now. It's pretty safe from rolling completely forward and falling off there. So we shouldn't have to worry about it just falling off completely. Hope it goes high enough. I don't know what the lift capacity is on this guy. Just a little bit further. I think we're going to be just fine. Looks like we still have a little bit of reach right in here.
I'm just going to get those lines started like that. I'll get up on the ladder and start getting that through there. I'm going to go ahead and feed the power cord through the hole here all the way and just let it go on out to the back side there. All right, that makes that pretty simple. And I wasn't sure if this uh, drain is going to fit all the way through here and be able to connect to it. So I think I'm going to, it's going to be right on the outside of the wall, possibly. I may go ahead and connect the uh, rest of the drain tube, get it fed through there, just so I don't have to worry about pulling it back out if it's not long enough. Here's our drain line. It's easy enough just to get it on out there. drain line connected there. Let's see if we can walk this guy in a little bit further, get these two lines going through there. All right, we got our forks all the way up to the front of the board right here, so we should be safe on being able to uh, go ahead and slide this up by hand. We'll go ahead and see if we can try to get it all the way up to the front here, like that and just manipulate this air handler forward just like that so i'll go on down we need to lift it up we need to lift it up just a little bit more so that we can kind of push it in there and maybe just barely have to pick it up and stick it on there I think I got it hooked, but I need to go around to the other side with the ladder and make sure that it's actually on the hook there. I'm gonna go up one click just to be sure. Okay, I think we're hooked. I'm gonna gently lower it down to see if it kind of falls into place. Because all you do is push on the bottom to snap it in. All right, it's just off of it. So now we can make sure that we're hanging on it. Go down another half a turn. We're on there. All right, it's hanging. Everything fit through just like it should too with our uh, through hole right here. So I'm gonna lower this down and get it out of the way and I think all we gotta do from there is just snap in the bottom. There we are, we have the first air handler safely lifted, hung on the bracket, it's ready to go. All that's left for this guy is uh, to completely connect it to the outside condenser. So I like the way it looks. It looks pretty clean up there on the bracket and the, uh, the plywood. Happy about that. So we're going to go ahead and move on and do the same thing right here. That's looking good. So now we've got two of our air handlers now successfully hung on the brackets. Uh, next, next step for those, we're gonna go ahead and get two of our condenser units 
uh, moved to the back side there. I'm going to go ahead and start getting these guys set in place because I didn't want to set them until we had our uh, uh, placement of our lines coming down. So I'll get those done. I'm going to go ahead and start getting this one prepped. This one will go here. So our lines are going to be coming through. You got this little cutout. You take this guy out, our lines are going to be coming uh, straight in line with this. Our line guard will be mounted on the wall uh, in line parallel to this hole right there. And then we'll have a second line guard mounted directly below that that's going to go underneath this unit that will hook into that air handler over there on that side.